Okay guys and welcome back with another video. In this video I'm going to show people how to use classes. So in Blocks 2.0 we're able to access classes where we can do cool things to the text. So I'm using a Leto text font here, random paragraph that I found, uh, well that just a default one. Uh, to find the class manager now we can click, you can go, you can type 6 into the keyboard, oh, type 6 like that. Um, and then yeah that's it. So to create a new class on the element all we have to do is click on Go on to click on the element one, click test. I'll call it text because I know that's one created. Click on it and it'll open up the text editor for us. Um, now, in this particular one here, what we've done is, I'm just going to clear this, is let's go, I'm going to go through each one with you. So, this one is actually for a box or a marginal padding. So, you can have, you can float to the left or you, it's in the middle right now, so that's not going to do anything. Uh, and you can change certain things here. You can change things so on the right hand side here. We can create different paddings, so 20. Not we're going to do a lot, like 20% if we like, on below, and it will expand it. Uh, we can create new margins, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can change the dimensions, so width, we can only have 200 pixels, we can have 400. Uh, you can change the width of stuff as well, which is also really cool. So there's these are the actual dimensions of the box. Then we go into color settings. So the background, you can create a new border only on one side, which is pretty cool. So we can have a border on, on one side, which is black. Of course, it's got to be 20 pixels. Uh, we can have a dotted as well. There you go. We've got a dotted white line all the way around. But on the right, it is... 20 pixels and the rest of the way around it is only one so that's also pretty cool you can really add the customized customizable settings there for for the for blocks pretty much so right on the outside we've got right on the outside here we've got our stuff when yeah so it's only key it's keeping 20 percent over from the right and get rid of that and it will do 100 percent i just play around with it pretty much um then we go on to text here and you can select the font that we want but the fonts already been over what row over uh, selected by the typeface here so this won't have any effect i uh, create make stuff italic you can have make stuff all capitals lowercase every sentence lowercase then capitals everything lowercase you can have underline line through line above which is a weird one to the line, line spacing so we can have 30 pixels oh my god makes like a word search uh, you can really really customize which is really cool then we go on to the interesting stuff um now this, this is the reason why i call it interesting let's just create that there because uh, you have to create it otherwise it will be opaque like opacity and uh, what we want to do is we can change the distance of the text shadow which is very very cool we can have a blur as well so you can create this very very weird if you like kind of blur behind which looks really really strange but you can play around with it change the angle that it that it say uh, reflect reflects out which is very very cool uh, you can get rid of it as well just can be a little X you can do a box shadow as well uh, this will basically impact the actual box I think around it let's have a go it will it'll do the box uh, so you can have the whole box a whole 90 degree angle if you like uh, that that's also pretty cool. Uh, so you can have distance here. You can create, make, basically give thing, make things look like they are hovering off the page, which is kind of weird, but uh, also very very cool. You can have any color as well. So ooh, that red looks very cool. Uh, yeah, and finally, I'm going to leave it like that. We can have hover state, which will completely refresh something. So when this is hovered, I want the text. I want the text shadow to to become a black color and become like very very weird kind of thing like that so if I go on to command B now and we go to the browser when this is hovered over we get this text shadow over the top which is very very cool uh, more actual more better more a better idea for this actually would be instead of having text shadows would be to have the actual text underlined on hover which would probably be a more appropriate format like that hover 
yeah, it shows you basically a customize, customization with classes, amazing. Uh, just play with them pretty much, and you'll create cool things like this, cool things that you couldn't do before in previous versions of blocks. Uh, if we actually look at the blocks website, you'll see how they've how uh, they've used it. You can see this is kind of got an orange glow against the video in the background. That there it is, begin to play now, uh, which looks really really cool. You can change the opacity of things as well. Have uh, white backgrounds, other things you just couldn't do before in blocks. Um, which is really really cool uh, so thank you for watching this video guys and if you if you liked it give it a like if you want to subscribe that's fine that'd be really really cool and i'll see you guys in another video